Welcome back. Welcome back to another episode of G-Man Fishing. We're out here at Ochoco Reservoir. It's all filled up. I've never seen it this full ever in my entire time fishing here in the last three or four years, however long it's been since I started fishing here. But it's full. We still got the fake worm on from last time. We're going to go ahead and go ahead and start out with the night crawler on the bottom. And uh, because that's what we're rigged up for with the float rig. We will probably switch to where we are not using bait at all, but I'm already rigged up that way. I want to get one line in the water, and so I'm doing a double bait setup. One with, well, it's the one's a fake worm, one's a real worm, and we're only going to use a half one for now. We're going to toss it out there just to get us fishing. Um, I mean, I could have just started throwing a Ned rig because I've got that rigged up too, but I want to get one out there that's just doing its thing so to me that's important because that's why i buy the two two pull license so i can have one out there just balancing and doing its thing while i'm messing around and trying to catch fish on other baits so that's the goal that's the intentions uh let's get this bait out there and see if we can't uh, get a fish on um with it being as high as it is <laughs> i ain't been able to fish where i normally would fish for trout usually i'm way out there on on the bank but it's so high you can't get out there and so i have to i'm fishing with a fishing where i can you know so there's the first cast um We'll see what happens. Set that down, pole holder. And then we got the net rig. And we're gonna go ahead and uh, throw that out there. And... Fish on, 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 fish on. I had to switch up tactics a little bit because I wasn't getting bit. I'm like, eh. Switch it up a little bit and uh, Sure enough, got bit. Wasn't really paying attention, but uh, got bit. And I got my first one on of the day. So it was like a caper as well. So let's get our net already. Oh yeah, decent trout, decent trout. Oh, decent. Definitely a keeper. Definitely a keeper. <laughs> Throw my head. Oh. Ooh. Keeper. We'll get our net, our basket, and put it put in the basket. And then we'll, we'll get back to fishing. what they're biting on anyways there's 
Here's number two of the day. Boy, the weather starts to change and fish start biting. When the weather wasn't, was doing just fine, ouch, they weren't biting. Now that their uh, weather has made a difference, fish starting to bite. Ah, well, y'all. I should have made a short for that one, but that's okay. Don't need to make a short right away, I guess. Okay. Where's, I gotta hold the fish. I'll hold it with the net this time around. Hold it with the net. Mouth, y'all. That's number two. Hold on, bud. We're gonna put you in the basket for now. Okay. Okay, y'all. Fish number two. All right. There you guys go. Woo -hoo. Starting to heat up a little bit. Starting to find them. Um, but really all it took was making a little adjustment using a worm, putting it underneath a float, and just letting it uh, do its thing, really. Is all we're doing, but we can get back over here where we were because I'm doing a mistake of casting and that's casting over my own line. But I mean, I could sit over there, I guess. But then, will I get the same drift? Will I get the fish to bite? I don't know. I'd just assume. Uh, be over here where I know that the drift has been going and fish have been biting. Now I've fished this spot for two of the three hours I've been here and uh, just now now that the weather's changed and it's starting to cloud up completely and stuff the fish started biting finally. But I've always been a strong believer that clear bird, bluebird skies isn't the greatest for fishing. Give me some overcast, a little breeze, sometimes a lot of breeze, and uh, we'll uh, do some damage. I mean, the fish, they get used to the bluebird skies, but I still feel like that it's harder to catch them on clear clear days than it is uh days like this where it's overcast um but hey we're not catching monsters or um doing any pbs today but hey we're we're catching fish and really that's what can i say um it's what i want to do is catch fish <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to set the rod down just to get a bite. <laughs> All right. Oh, there it is. There it is. Huh? I thought it was. I might have just looked in the wrong spot. I guess. I do that from time to time. All right. Let's set her down. See what happens. Well, they're definitely starting to get active, which is kind of what I figured would happen after. Now that it's, uh, I'm seeing them jump now. Earlier today, I only seen like maybe two fish rise. So definitely, uh, the the weather 
has definitely, in my opinion, got them active. So. Yep, that is definitely bite. That is definitely. Got him. Fish number three. <laughs> yep, fish number three. <laughs> Make a little switch, do a little something different, and voila! We're catching fish. We're catching fish. Fish number three. Not very big. Keeper. Big little size fish though. And uh, sometimes that's all you can ask for is keepers, you know? That one I think is a little bit small. I'm gonna let that one go. I think he's a little bit small. I'm going to uh, use the net to, to hold him. So the what? I'm not touching him with, uh, with a uh, dry hands and making people mad. They barely hooked him in the snout. There you guys go. And I did not hit the rocks. He didn't hit the rocks. Don't want you guys getting mad at me for that. All right. Fish number three is back in the water. Mm-hmm. Guess another worm on there. <sighs> Fishing definitely picked up. Definitely picked up. All right. There we go. Here's a bite. There we go. We got that one pinned. That one's a scrapper. Get over here. To where we got a net to, to where we can land him. Come on. Get away from there. Get away. Ooh, that's a nicer one. What have we been catching? Maybe not. Uh, that's another small-ish one. I think he'll go back. Small-ish one. I'm going to grab him with wet net. Keep him from being harmed as some people say beautiful little trout. Wait, hold on. I'm gonna let you go, buddy. Took me long enough to that's the fourth one of the day. Right there, another beautiful trout. There you go. See? No harm done. It's under, and it's into all that muck. Yep, it got me out of all the muck. Anyways, <laughs> got me out from all that muck, and that one looks like it's a little bit bigger fish. So, I mean, oh no, it came off. No, dang it. That one was a bigger fish. There we go. Finally got another fish. Took a minute, but finally got another another fish. 
a long wait in between fish for sure oh that's the nicest one of the day so far oh yeah that's definitely woohoo <laughs> thin my net out a little bit that's definitely a beautiful fish right here you too oh that's the biggest one of the day so far come on come on come on definitely a keeper definitely a keeper and you know what i don't care what you guys say i want to mistreat this guy because i'm keeping where i'm going to <laughs> he wants to go back but he's not this time this one is uh, not going back Maybe the biggest one of the day, and it is, but okay, well, let's just do that and let him hold on to the hook till we clean him, and we'll get our hook back then. You know, Woo. I got that one, that one's probably 15 inches, maybe 16 tops. Oh, take him, take him. Let's pull our basket up. And that way we can go straight to the basket and straight back into the water. Ready? One, two, three. Definitely the biggest one of the day so far. There we go. There we go. There we go. go there we go. There we go. Fish on. Fish on. Nice. nice y'all oh that's another nice one that is another nice one oh yeah that's another keeper for sure oh, yeah. <laughs> there we go there we go there we go, there we go. In the corner of the mouth, right where you want to hook them, right there. There we go, one hooked. Ready to go in the basket. It's another decent trout. Nice. How's it going today? Right. That looks like it. Maybe. Yep, there's a bite. There we go. Got him. Hopefully he stays on. Hopefully he stays on. Decent fish anyways. Oh yeah, decent fish. Oh yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. Y'all, y'all, check it, check it. Hooked up with my fifth and final fish for the day here on Ochico Reservoir. Getting ready to call it a day. Um, got a landing and lead him out, and uh, we'll call it. So, uh, Get him landed in the net. There you go. Fifth and final fish of the day. Another decent fish. Got four in the basket. Y'all, check it, check it. G-Man fishing. <laughs>